Hey, what's up guys? I want to do a precious metals video. Um, I'm going to have a video in the future talking specifically uh, to all the different um, words and terminology used for precious metals investing. You know, spot, bid, ask price, uh, stuff like that. This video is specifically though is going to be about premiums. Um, this is a catalog I got in the mail, the New York Mint, and it sells all kinds of precious metals. Gold, uh, coins, silver coins, um, bars, all kinds of stuff. So I want to talk a little bit about premiums because you know, in this catalog, you'll see prices that are way more than what people are talking about. And, you, and some people just don't understand that. So I want to explain it a little bit better in detail. Now, to understand what a premium is, you have to understand what spot is. The spot price of any precious metal, you know, uh, more commonly we're talking about silver, perhaps some gold. You, you don't hear it very often, but palladium, platinum, you know, of course, these are other precious metals and it all um, relates to those as well. But I'm focusing more on, on silver for all intent and purposes. Spot price is what silver is worth right this second and right this second <laughs> and an hour from now and two years from now. It's the moment you're buying or selling silver or gold or any precious metal. It's what it's currently valued at in that moment. Now, it's kind of hard to understand because spot price is constantly changing. Um, a lot of people ask me, you know, how can I keep track of this? If I, you know, I don't know what it's worth right now. What if I, I buy it and it's too expensive? Or, or what if I miss out on a really good deal because it's a lot less than, you know, what it's worth? Well, you want to keep a tr uh, track of the market. You know, you can go to, to companies like Atmex, you can go to Monarch Precious Metals, and you can go to a slew of different websites. And on the website, they'll show, you know, spot, bid, and ask. I'll get into the other things in a, in a future video. But spot price is, you know, the current value of uh, that precious metal. You can also download uh, Kitco, K-I-T-C-O. You can Google it. It's something that I have for my desktop. So whenever I'm on the computer, I have little tabs on my, uh, you know, on the bottom of the uh, screen that show me the constantly changing numbers of precious metals. It's interesting. You can also download uh, apps. Let's see. Here's a great app. This is. Let's see. Let's go back. It's called a uh, DHF calculator. And uh, of course, besides having an actual calculator, so if you want to figure out you know, what things are worth, let's say silver, and we're talking about uh, fine silver, okay, troy ounces, so 999 fine. And I don't know, I, I currently own, not, I don't personally do this, this is just an example, but let's say I own 15 ounces of silver, estimated value, and there you go, $430.05 as of right this second. Um, and then of course, you know, you can go through the other things with uh, gold and uh, platinum. But what I like about this is that it also shows you active current metal prices for the market. So what we want to look in here is uh, the top portion here. Don't worry about the bottom with the running market, but stick with this silver portion right here. It's going to give you the uh, current value of the uh, metals. So gold right now is worth $1,599.25. Silver is at $28.67 and so forth. This is a very uh, easy way to keep track of what spot price is. All right, so if you're gonna be purchasing some silver or gold or something, um, you know, you can check your app real quick, say, all right, this is exactly what it's worth, so I know what I'm getting into, here's what I'm buying it for, and so on. A premium is basically how much money you're either buying or selling metals for above spot. So just for easy numbers, let's say silver's worth $30 right now. All right, if I'm gonna be buying silver and it's worth 30, I might be buying for someone who's selling it for $31 an ounce. We say, hey, wait a minute. If it's only worth 30, why am I gonna pay 31? Well, that guy's gotta make some money. That's why he's selling silver. So that's just how it works. Now, when you get into uh, coins and collectible metals, all right, not just, not just straight up ingots and art bars and stuff like that, but when you're talking about particularly US currency, uh, things of that nature, there's there's higher premiums on it. They're more collectible. They're more um, sought after because they're more known. So you will definitely see higher premiums on uh, different types of coin, particularly, you know, silver eagles. Um, a lot of different countries have their, their known thing like the uh, Kookaburra uh, coins. They're very popular, Philharmonic uh, coins. You know, there's a slew of them that are that are just well known around the world and they do carry a higher premium. If you're buying just straight up silver from different places uh, in ingot form or in a, you know, a, a, a bar or something like that, it may be a little bit less of a premium, okay? More times than not, it is. So I wanna show you this a little bit and just talk about prices. 
So that's the deal spot is exactly what silver's worth at the time of a transaction and a premium is how much more you're paying for it or how much more you're paying, uh, excuse me, selling it for above spot. So we open uh, to the first page here and oh, actually my first page is ripping. Oh, don't need that. <laughs> All right, so uh, the first thing we see here are 2013 silver dollars, okay? We have our Liberty coins. Now, we come down here to look at the prices, and we see $39.95 a piece. And, of course, the more you buy, the slightly cheaper they'll be. You know, you get 20 or more, it'll end up being $38.45 each. But let's say you just want to buy one. $39.95 plus shipping. Now, you might be thinking, well, wait a minute. The silver's only worth 28 and change right now. Why am I going to pay more than $10 for one coin? That seems like such a ripoff. You know, if you're starting to get into this stuff and you'll, you'll see catalogs, catalogs like this, excuse me, or you go to websites and you go, why are these people asking for, you know, so much money for this stuff? Well, first of all, <laughs> they have to make money. But in addition to that, in this specific case, when you have a publication that's printed and you have values of things you're selling that are constantly changing, you got to kind of go above to counter uh, the market going up. Now, of course, these prices will change with time as well. So it's hard in this specific uh, case to, to print prices for stuff like this where the value is constantly fluctuating. It's not like anything else in the world. You know, it's hard to, to compare things. If you have a chair and you're selling a chair as a company and you charge 50 bucks for it, well, you can charge 50 bucks for it for as long as you're a company. The value of that chair doesn't really change, whereas metals, they do change. So it's, it's a little confusing. But I want to show you some of the stuff that's more common. People do, uh, you know, go out of the way to spend more. They'll pay a higher premium for certain things like this because they know in the end they'll get that money back because it's still sought after. So things like this, I mean, I've had an art bar before. This is basically a big flat bar of silver. It looks like a $100 bill. Um, these are, you know, they're collectible to some people. I think, uh, you know, government-issued coins are the most collectible. And here's the Kookaburra which is a beautiful, beautiful coin. And every year they have a, a really amazing design. It's one of the nicest, one of the most sought after as well. You see the premium on there, $60 for one troy ounce of silver. Okay, it's double the price of the value of silver just because of the, the premium on it. Okay, because it's so sought after. And of course we have gold here as well. Let's see, here's a, uh, a double eagle. And the asking price, is $2,575, okay? That's a high premium. Let's see what gold's worth real quick. Wait this second. Gold is worth $1,599.25, okay? So let's just say $1,600 for a troy ounce. And they're asking almost $2,600, okay? It's almost $1,000 more, but it's a double eagle. It's a premium. So this is how this stuff works. By the way, if you want to get this, it's you know it's a free catalog. <laughs> Again, it's New York Mint. You can Google them and just put in your address and stuff. And uh, I mean, if you're in the United States anyway, and you get these, you know, just to look at to see what things are selling for, to see what the options there are out there. They have some oddball things, and they have things that are very well known. Of course, the Canadian Maple Leaf is another one that's up there, very uh, highly sought after. Uh, very well known. Um, of course, some of these will come in gold. The Pamp Suisse stuff, you know, very collectible because people like this. It has a little assay card, which basically is like a certification that is real. And people, you know, they see the name. It's like anything else. Uh, for some reason, you know, you can get a shirt at Walmart for $5 and the shirt next to it, which is the exact same material with the Nike logo on the tag. People are going to want the Nike one just because they know the name. They feel like it's quality. With uh, with precious metals, you know, a name is a big deal. If you're getting stuff from some unknown company, then uh, the authenticity is in question, and you don't want that, particularly when you're, you know, reselling down the road. Now, I don't buy precious metals for the collecting, um, you know, purposes of it. I don't. I wouldn't buy coins because they're cool coins. I'm a coin collector. I would buy coins just because it's silver that I know it was going to sell at a higher premium. I'm not a coin collector, nor am I, you know, an art bar collector. I'm a silver collector. So there's a difference. Some people do go specifically for some of the uh, more sought after stuff, and they're willing to pay a higher premium for it, you know, with the idea that it'll always carry that premium. These are very cool, but again, you know, one troy ounce, a bar, 
it is a beautiful bar. I've seen these in person. I do not own one, never had a full troy ounce of silver. But um, they're really, really nice. Or excuse me, gold. I, I think I said silver. Uh, they actually do have a, uh, a PAMP silver, but those carry a very high premium that I don't think you always get back. That's personal preference, but... Anyway, some of these, you know, limited edition where part of the image is, you know, gold clad, stuff like that. It's pretty cool. The Year of the Snake, these are really big. Well, I see a lot of people trying to get these. Here's some, some PAMP silver right here. And uh, the premium on that looks 70 bucks for one troy ounce of silver. Now, you know you can go somewhere else and get a troy ounce of silver for 30 bucks. But when you go to sell it, that other troy ounce will be worth 30 bucks. This may be worth more. You know, you can't... Premiums are, are kind of strange because you can't foresee a premium holding on, you know. With certain coins and, and certain types of precious metals, you can almost guarantee they'll always be worth more than their, you know, their weight in gold, literally, or silver, um, because they're so sought after. But stuff like this, I mean, people just go crazy for it, particularly if you're a collector. It's just like, it's like knives, right? You got the people buying the six, $700 customs and putting them in a glass case and, you know, just smiling looking at them and then you got people buying user knives they get the job done you know but it's just it's a different level it's collector versus user and i feel like in the, the metals world i'm more of a user than a collector uh, you know i like buying metal as cheap as possible to have its its value in metal weight not because it's shiny or because it has a cool image on it or because everyone wants it but um you know if this is something you want to get into this is important information to know you're not getting ripped off. You look at these prices and it's it's worth that. That's what people are buying it for. This uh, catalog also has a bunch of uh, paper money, collectible paper money. All right, here's 2012. Jeez, this thing's falling apart. Actually, that worked out perfectly, so I'm on that page anyway. 2013 Eagles, $39.95. Okay, 2012 Eagles, $49.95. Why? Well, because 2013. So it's going to become a little bit harder to find the 2012s again. So the premiums go up. Supply and demand. That's how it works. And cool, they carry some uh, Buffalo Nickels. Okay, and of course a lot of the junk silver stuff. A lot of coins in here that I've never seen before. Look at this one, this one's pretty fascinating. Is that a hedgehog? Pretty cool. And you know, when you see these coins in person, some of these mints, um, the images are so crisp and amazing looking. It really is like art. Here we got some 64 um, Kennedys, okay, 90% silver. $24.95 each. Is it worth that in silver? No, but that's a premium. And it just goes on and on. So you guys get the point. I'm just looking for some other things in here because I didn't really get to look at this yet. Just turn the camera on. Uh, and they have other things in here as well that's not uh, silver and gold. Just different random coins that are collectible. But this is a pretty cool reference just to see what what these are getting. Here's an interesting piece. It's shaped like, you know, it looks like a ladybug. And there's a small design on the other side as well. $69.95. And this is... It's gold. You know, it's 999 gold. I'm trying to see what the weight is. It's a half a gram. A half a gram. Okay, you guys know a gram, anywhere, a gram of gold. You look on eBay anywhere from, I don't know, say 50 bucks to 60 bucks. This is a half a gram, and they're charging 70 for it. Why? Because it's unique. It has a premium. There we go. These are five-year-old Eagles, 2008, $69.95, as opposed to brand new ones, $39.95. So there you go. So you guys get the point. Just kind of looking through this while the camera's still on. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, a 1942 Eagle for 200 bucks. That's a heck of a premium. But you know what? You'd be hard pressed to find a 1942 um, silver, excuse me, a, a blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Let's try that again. You'd be hard pressed to find a 1942 um, Liberty, uh, Walking Liberty. 
So yeah, it carries a high premium. You start going eBay, you might even get more than, more than that because people are collectors. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, so you guys get the, the deal there with how uh, premiums work. All right, I just want to explain it. I, I know I over explained it and you probably understand what the whole purpose of the video was within the first uh, 30 seconds, but there you go. It's just how I roll. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video. hope you learned something. Of course, if you have any questions, I'm not the authority, the grand master of precious metals collecting. Okay, I'm just a dude, as you know by now, just a guy with many interests I'm sure someone else there out there is a much more, um, you know, much better source of information, but I'm just uh, giving you what I got. So hopefully it was educational and you learned a thing or two if you didn't um, already know. So that's all. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you soon. Take care.